Uh, alrighty guys, it's the next morning now. It is Tuesday morning, uh, July 25th. We're here, ready to pack what's sold. Um, yesterday, we, we got back, had, uh, had dinner with the family, um, did a couple of things. I, I pulled the orders yesterday, but didn't pack them because it was um, late already in the day, and already it was mosquitoes were flying in here, and I didn't want to get destroyed by mosquitoes while, while packing orders, so I didn't record anything or anything like that. I think I am making the executive decision not to list anything new until I update my entire store and uh, get a lot of it up on uh, cross posting. So I am I'm taking cross posting a lot more seriously. I'm using an uh, I'm using a program that I really enjoy using. I can't really say much more about that yet until um, more comes to light because I I am working on a sponsorship with this program so. Uh, uh, I don't want to say a little more until papers get signed and all of like that, but I am uh, doing a little test trial before I promote them. So I've been doing a test trial for the last week or so and I'm really enjoying it. So uh, I don't want to list any more things to my store until I update all the AI backgrounds to all my listings and get it all up and cross posted. So, uh, and I think that makes a lot more sense for me now because right now I have a hectic couple of weeks up ahead with my family being here, then with Mel being here, then flipping happening, and just listing something new during that time, it's gonna be hard to do. So, but I can take breaks and do little things like this in between and get get as much of the store up and ready for when all that stuff goes through, then I'm just gonna list heavily. And uh, I think uh, it's not the best decision for my bank account because I won't have any listings going up but I think it's what I need to do, I really do. So, um, all the stuff that I bought from PA won't be listed, I think, until um, after FlipCon. I think that's, that's, that's the plan. So, anyways, w w what am I saying? So, um, uh, so, so yeah, that, that's just me saying, uh, don't, don't anticipate crazy sales pool videos in the future, since I'm not gonna be listing anything. I am gonna be ending and relisting a lot. And I'm going to be ending and relisting and updating uh, prices, updating titles. Yeah. I'm going to be updating titles and we updating prices. I'm going to be updating pictures as well. I'm doing the AI generate backgrounds for all my stuff because I just think it's better. My store looks nicer, looks cleaner, and I think stuff sells faster. So, anyways, that's the update from what I'm doing. Let's talk about what's sold. Um, so, last thing, I, last time I pulled orders was I think Wednesday. So this has been five days, and five days of sales, guys. So uh, I have 37 sales total for over $1,500. So not too bad for doing nothing for five days. $1,500 is still nothing to sneeze at. Uh, a lot of sales got the door, so let me share with you guys what's sold. Start here at the top. We have a Shameless DVD. I think it's for like 10 bucks. This came from the eBay buyout, we have the Hitman's Bodyguard, this thing sold for like 12 or 13 dollars. Paid a dollar for it, it's at a yard sale, I think in the Comas. We got Circus Maximus, um, video game, I don't remember where I got that from, but it sold for like eight bucks. Then we got Aliens DVD. Uh, D D this two set right here sold for like 20 dollars. This was one of, the, one of the things that I was changing the backgrounds on while going on the train up north to PA, and looks like it may have worked because I got it sold for 20 bucks. So my second one of these leather seal Alpac survival gear things. It's like one of those, I don't know what it is, <laughs> but it sold for 50 bucks. I uh, sold for 20 bucks. Then I sold this LCD touch panel phone, it sold for $15. That also came from the eBay buyout. Over here we have a Department 56 thing, Amish buggy, sold for 20 bucks, came from the 56 buy. This is one of the best sales of the whole week right here, actually. Austin 316 signed picture. I uh, wrote no COA because I don't have a COA with it, but it is signed by him. I got, I got this at uh, the yard sale in um, Sarasota. I listed, I think I paid, I don't remember, I think I paid five bucks for it maybe, if, if, if that. I listed it high because I want to enjoy it. It's in my office right now, it's on display. And I, I have this one, I have Sable and I have Shawn Michaels. And I listed it high because I was like, hey, if nobody buys it, I'm enjoying it, I don't care, right? And somebody, somebody bought it high. <laughs> so. Let's do it for $150, so for $150. Um, so this uh, Olympus recorder for like 10 bucks. That one also had an, an AI generated background. 
Uh, this is called this cool pics camera for 50 bucks. This one also had an AI generated background. So guys, I think I did uh, a trial run of maybe like a hundred backgrounds if I did that much on my week trip to PA and back. And I think 10 or so, I think I got like at least eight or so sales from the AI generated background pictures. And that's why I think it's, it's worth it for me to do it. And just get my whole store update and get 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 every item a best chance to, to sell. So that sold, I think I paid maybe two or three bucks for this camera. I sold a, a fan remote. Uh, this is a remote for uh, uh, over the head fan. Got a, a yard sale for a buck, sold for 30. So Walt Disney World mug sold for $15. Actually, I think this might be a viewer. They, they didn't write anything or, or leave me a note or anything like that, but they already gave me positive feedback. So I think you are a viewer. If you are a viewer, I'm just gonna say thank you to you in case you're, and if somebody knows you, <laughs> tell her I said thank you. Suzanne in Ma Macomb, Macomb, Michigan. Thank you for your purchase. I am 90% sure you're a viewer, Suzanne. So thank you so much for your purchase. I hope you enjoy the mug. Uh, we have a Star Trek Lieutenant Data. This thing sold for, this guy sold for $30. Uh, he was a uh, part of that uh, big security system buy in uh, Fort Myers where I got all those security cameras and stuff. Uh, he was there, I, I sold, a bunch of the other ones on my whatnot show, but this one I listed sold for 30 bucks. This is a Fitbit. I sold for like, I think like 30 bucks came from Pennsylvania. Um, I want to put these up here, even though they're not viewer sales, because I'm talking about the AI background and I'll show you guys what I mean by it. So these are Reebok Zig shoes. I got these for a buck at a really good yard sale in Sarasota with all the Pokemon stuff and stuff. Um, so this guy, this sold for 50 bucks. And here's the, what I mean by AI generated background. So here's what the background used to look like. See, it's just plain white. Nothing wrong with that. But here's the AI generated background. So it looks like it's on a the street. There's like a sunset in the background. It's just a much cleaner picture if you, if you, if you see that. So I want to show you some of the, the cooler sales that happened because of that. So this sold for 50 bucks. These sold for $70. These are Todd's men's loafers i think i paid two or three bucks for them at a yard sale as well and here's their picture look at that this is what they look like still i'm saying the white is still clean if you want to just do white white is still clean but this is what it turned into a nice little gravel um like paved stone got the city blurred in the background i think it's just a sick image and I think it does stand out. When somebody is searching for like these shoes and you see just a bunch of white pictures and you see mine, I think it does stand out and it helped, <coughs> helped us sell. That's a $70 sale. And this thing sold for 30 bucks. It's a Galarian Rapidash Pokemon set. And this one I also um, want to showcase how cool this one is. Like it looks like it's in the game store. It has a like Pokemon blurred in the background. It has like a counter with a reflection of the item in it. I think it's sick. So there we go guys. This is why I think I think AI generated backgrounds is the future. I am taking it very seriously. So I'm redoing my whole store with them and also cross posting. We're doing all my new cross postings with those things because I want the stuff to sell faster. Up here, we also got some viewer sales. I sold this uh, Simpsons t shirt. Here it is, just a t shirt with a Simpsons on it. This sold to. So to Carrie in Rensselaer, Indiana. Hope I didn't butcher the city or your name, where you live. And she wrote, love watching your videos. You are awesome. I look forward to them. You are a wonderful human. Thanks, Carrie. Well, wow. Thank you for the super kind words there, Carrie. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for your purchase as well. And I sold this Disney, uh, the rookie baseball, and this really cool, goofy tree plush. I had, I bought two of them at a yard sale. I think I still have one left. Uh, that sold to Rhonda in Oakland City, Indiana. And Rhonda wrote, I love watching your videos on YouTube. Getting the baseball for me and the goof for my best friend. She loves Goofy everything. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, Rhonda. Well, Rhonda, thank you so much for your purchase. Thank you for your support, for watching me on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed the baseball and I hope your friend enjoys the Goofy. Speaking of support on YouTube, uh, yesterday I passed 30,000 subscribers on the main channel. That number is just still like, what? <laughs> 
30,000 subscribers on the main channel. So thank you guys so much for your support there. I'm like a 5,000 something on this channel. My my pockets is almost at 1,000. It's just the support you guys are giving me is just insane. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. All right, down here, we just still got a bunch of sales to, to talk about. Uh, this Farberware, uh, uh, part out of Farberware Coffee Maker, that's the last piece of it. I think so for like 25 bucks, came from Philadelphia. So this really cool called backpack for like 25 bucks, came from a yard sale in Sarasota. Um, this Barbie doll right here, Dungeon Princess doll, I think so for $50. This came from that private doll pick with the ornaments that Chris told me about. I think I paid five bucks for that doll. Uh, this might be the last thing to sell from that Speedway diecast buy that I made. It was that like, one random yard sale in like Port Charlotte. I haven't posted it yet. I'm gonna post it pretty soon. I got a I've got a big tote of diecast cards for twenty bucks for them. And that used to turn out to be a really good buy. That thing sold for like thirty bucks. And things I sold everything now. So some more of these uh, makeup things. I got these from a pallet, an Amazon pallet. I have a ton of them left to sell. And they sold for like 10 bucks. This remote I just bought this weekend. Uh, but I paid I paid up for it. I thought it would be a little better than it was, but I still I'm gonna be in the profit. I paid 10 bucks for it, so for 20. So after the fees, I maybe make, make a couple bucks, but happy with that. This, oh, that remote was also an AI generator background. This also was an AI generator background. This is a uh, microphone. A microphone. Uh, bought this for like a buck or something, so for like 15. Uh, down here we have a Sony camera. Sold for like forty dollars. This is a surprising seller here. This is a K Kawana wood. This is a teak bowl. See, it's not the big of a bowl compared to like, like the makeup box. It's not that big of a bowl, but it sold for like a hundred dollars. Teak, teak guys, teak, teak. Especially if it's marked teak, it sells really well. For so another rigid um, pipe line, sold for twenty-five bucks. I, those things sell all the time. This is uh, like a kid's bundle, sold for like you know like. Six or seven bucks came from Philadelphia. I'm glad, I'm glad it sold. Can Can jeans. Um, these sold for thirty dollars. Can Can is a decent brand to be looking out for when it comes to jeans. This is a really cool monster jacket. This sold for like a hundred dollars as well. So you guys here. Mostly, if you see something with forty three and monster, that combination is usually really good. I don't know why. I don't look into it, but anytime I see forty three and monster hat, jacket, shirts. I buy it. Uh, this was, I think I paid five bucks for this jacket, sold for a hundred. This one sold for 80. Uh, it would have sold for a lot more if it was clean, if I want to clean it. But as you see right here, it's pretty dirty. Pretty dirty. I, and like I say, like I told you guys already, Florida Paul doesn't really have time for projects. Um, if I could buy it at a low price and still sell it for decent margins without having to do any work, I will do that. So if I want to clean that, I think it would have sold probably from like 150 to 200. I sold for 85. I paid, I think, 10 for it. So I'm happy with that profit. I sold another Halloween faux blomo for, for 30 bucks. This is a bug zapper thing. I got this at a yard sale, I think, in Venice. Sold for 20. And this was also an AI generated image. But then we got two, uh, we got a bat and a club. The bat is a decent buy, a Mikan. Also got this in Fort Myers. That one I just took a gamble. I don't know. Figure five bucks for a bat. Pretty good. So for like 95. And then the the club is a Cobra three wood. Uh so for like 40 bucks. So there you have it. I think that's everything. Time to pack them up and get them out of here. Okay, all the orders are packed. Time to get them out of here and then go check the P.O. box and see what I missed over the last like five days. All right, we're back from the P.O. box and we got some packages. I don't usually open whatnot stuff on here because I just buy way too much <laughs> on whatnot. So there's like, I don't really share about all the stuff that I buy, but I buy a lot. I like to support people that support me and I like to spend a lot of money <laughs> on whatnot. So I don't usually do whatnot openings on here, but we got three things in the mail from one person or whatnot. So I, I do want to open them on here and give her a shout out. So this, this uh, this opening, plus I think we have some Huber mail as well, so we're gonna open that. Uh, but this opening is sponsored by Volume Farmhouse, one and whatnot. I told you guys, I don't know if I said this on here. I think I said on here about how like Ray Dunn, like Ray Dunn over here. So I bought this uh, earlier from from Volume Farmhouse. I also got some tongs, say grab Ray Dunn tongs from her. 
And then I'm slowly, like I said, I'm slowly trying to transition my whole house into a Ray Dunn. Ray Ray Dunn. I don't know if I said that on here or not, but uh, I've been getting a lot of it from her show. So I got three packages from her. So you guys know that's a lot. A lot of Ray Dunn. She does a really good job of said packing. I don't do as a good job of packing. She does. Look, there's paper. Look, there's styrofoam. There's bubble wrap. Like I said, that can drop the stuff from the skyscraper, and it will, it will make it safely. So. Let's uh, let's see what what we got from. Here. I do remember this one. It says so extra. It's like supposed to be an Easter mug, but it, because like it's East eggs Easter, but it's, it gives me breakfast vibes too. I'm gonna I'm gonna use it for breakfast as well. So extra. So here you go. Never enough mugs, I say. Never enough mugs. And the second one is uh, crack me up, because. Um, I'm cracking me up, get it with eggs. Also, her, her I think he said her son, correct me if I'm wrong, Terry, does like these 3D prints of like Pokemon. So I'm slowly just collecting all the Pokemon from her son as well for my purchases. So I had that was a Mewtwo. Here's a cloister. So yeah, can you, can you please keep putting them in my packages? I'm still collecting all, <laughs> all the Pokemon there too. So you got these two marks, and then there's something in the style from here. I, for I forgot about this. It's a tape dispenser and it says tape on it. That's so cool. Raid Dunn tape dispenser. So like I said guys, I'm slowly my whole house will become the Raid Dunn. So <laughs> this is the ho 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 one. I remember I got all hold out on, on her show. I bought like all the, the whole things she had for, for Christmas. So this is gonna be a Christmas mug. Yeah, ho ho ho. But yeah, I want I forgot I want a target gift card on one of her giveaways too. So that's that's that. Here's a ho 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 spatula. And um, cookie cutter, always need that. Also came as part of the giveaway. It's a, uh, you can't buy happiness, but you can buy wine. And that's kind of the same thing. So it's like a wine little bottle holder. That's a cool, that, that was also part of the giveaway. I think she just threw us in. I don't remember buying this, but I think she just threw us in. It's soap. Love, peace, joy, believe, Christmas. Frosted pine soap. Did you just throw it in, Terry? If you did, I appreciate that. If, if, I, if I bought it, I don't remember buying it. But that's typical for me too. Then we got one more box from Terry. Oh, these are cute. Little Ray Dunn spatula sets. I guess I bought this too. <laughs> I don't remember either. But it does have a ho 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 on it. Fa la la Christmas. Little mini spatulas. They're very cute. And when I said I went a little crazy with the ho 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 stuff, <laughs> this is kind of what I mean. <laughs> I bought a ho 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 Christmas <laughs> toilet brush. brush. <laughs> this is what happens when I, say I have no self control or whatnot. I, I see something I want to buy it. So we got a ho 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 Merry Christmas uh, toilet brush from her as well. There's my newest addition to my Ray Dunn collection. Then this is also from whatnot but i think it's also from terry because i remember my last show i rated somebody that was selling like jerky and stuff this feels like it's jerky in here and i think terry bought me a gift from that whatnot stream yep that's what it was so the the the, the stream was a be wild it's from the, that was the name of the whatnot it's from bro in a while see here's a poshmark and her whatnot and she sells like jerk you know all this other stuff and terry evolving farmhouse bought me some coffee from there and some teriyaki jerky which i'm ex very excited to try and then i don't know <laughs> i don't know about this oh it's it's oh okay i got scared it's a chili dice green flame roasted chili i thought it was a pickle i don't like pickles but it's a chili. I think I'm gonna enjoy that one as well. So there you go. Thank you. Thank you to Be Wild. Thank you to Valen Farmhouse, guys. Say so Valen Farmhouse on the whatnot. Low-key one of the best whatnot streams out there. I'm not just saying that because they watch me and they're viewers. I'm legit saying it because it's a really good whatnot stream. Especially if you like Ray Dawn, you need stuff for your kitchen. Very hard for to beat her prices. So thank you so much, Terry. Appreciate that. Now we got a box here from it says mine <laughs> in Concord, Georgia. So let's see what's in here. Really good protected. A lot of these bubbles and bubble bubble wrap. Appreciate that. Oh, we got a note. There we go. 
love notes. Makes it so much less confusing. Uh, hi, I don't comment a lot in your videos, but I watched them all. Well, thank you. I heard you say you love Ray Dawn, and I thought this fit you. Isn't that funny how? <laughs> that is funny how this works. So I just decided out of nowhere just to open all the Ray Dunn stuff. I think I mentioned it earlier in this recording. How I don't know if I said it or not that I love Ray Dunn, but I guess I did. <laughs> I love Ray Dunn to this fits you perfectly. Now you, I know you no longer have your fur baby and more, but you will always be one. I hope you like it and I love your videos. Denise. Well, thank you, Denise. So uh, I'm excited. If it has something to do with Huskies, I'm very excited. It says, Nieces Knickknacks. Is that, is that your store name? Nieces Knickknacks? I like you. Thank you for supporting our small business. OMG. I love it. It says, Dog Dad. It says, Dog Dad. Oh, man. Thank you. Thank you, Denise. This is awesome. I don't know, they even had those. I, I do miss her a lot. Um, I got to see her this weekend. It, it was amazing. We just cuddled the whole time when I was there. <sighs> and uh, this is gonna, I'm this, this gonna when drink coffee and think about her. So I do appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love it. All right, guys, it's the next morning. I spent the whole morning cross posting and Changing the background, like I said, I'm gonna spend most of my energy on that until everything is up to date in my store. I'm having a lot of fun doing it too, so that's part of it. Folks are here awake, making breakfast, making coffee. Yeah, Vida is, Vida is teaching me how uh, the ice coffee thing works. Oh, show them, we're gonna get your tumbler. Oh. This is the thing I overpaid for a yard sale, but it became a personal item, so it wasn't a problem. <laughs> Should I take these instructions off for you because they're, they're peel off, or do you think you're gonna need them? I'm gonna need them. I'm gonna need them. Yeah. Vita saw an alligator skin, guys. Oh, more water. Yes, I do. <laughs> tell, like tell, them your, tell them your story. Oh, well, I was, you know, walking along, as you do, and there it was. <laughs> Grandma is the double wave. Oh, we are in breakfast zone. She saw it on my property, guys. Not on my property, on my street. Yeah. Towards the golf course. Towards the golf course. So, semi close to me, so. So, well, yeah, they're definitely swimming in the golf course. When you said that you're scared of alligators, I was like, yes, yeah, reason to be. They're all here. Yeah, so, guys, it's just a rational fear. You guys be saying irrational. irrational is definitely irrational here. No there is some rationale behind it. We saw the evidence. Do I use this straw to, to stir? Yeah. It's the best contraption for stirring. And then I took my mom there the next day because I didn't think they believed that I saw it. Oh, and she believed. There you go. Did you add your little pepper bit? Of course I did. I think it's a screw on, is it? I think you're a screw on. <laughs> you got her so good. <laughs> she can't recover. Are you using the new uh, Ray Dunn mugs that Yeah, I'm gonna, give, I'm gonna get one. The it, one this has been uh, Vita's favorite mug here. Is this green one? I don't know what about it. It's just cute, but I'm gonna get some grandma's today. Oh, grandma's getting that mug today? Okay. Right. You okay, grandma? Grandma's wearing the mug today? Okay. You okay, grandma? Grandma, grandma's blowing kisses to my camera. Grandma's on the office. She, she thinks she's Ellie. <laughs> it's Ellie's job. Is this, one, is this a dog dad? No, I want the excellent one. Excellent one's over there. Uh, I would rinse it. Well, obviously. Oh, no, so extra. So extra. Oh, so extra. There we go. So extra. Oh. Ooh. 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 This might be the new go-to. Like Might be the new go-to if I can figure out how to make it work. Because it's very easy. And uh, Terry, we're using your coffee that you gifted me. The New That's Mexico Pinon coffee. This is also what's from Terry's whatnot show as well. So Terry's evolving farmhouse and whatnot. Okay. And she's the one I get all my way done from. Oh, she said she has like hundreds of thousands of Ray Dunn items in her house. So. 
going to be my cool. house soon. Yeah, you want your house to be that. Let's, let's see. Let's see if you have first impression. Delicious. Oh, that coffee is so good. Isn't it? Yo, that coffee is literally so good. Right? <laughs> That's delicious. She just uses milk because she doesn't like candy canes. She hates Christmas, guys. She's a Christmas hater. Have met Mocha? Yes. Mocha is supposed to smell like this. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, she smelled my melatonin. Yeah. She went from hating it to loving the smell in like two seconds. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Why did you put the milk away? Look at this. She's, guys, she's usually not this frazzled, but when there's a camera on her, she just becomes all frazzled. Ah, no, <laughs> you do. I don't smell like you guys want banana bread for breakfast? Mom, do you want banana bread? Banana, banana, uh, kitchen's banana. Yeah. Look at that. Okay. So, I mean, mom likes her coffee light and sweet. So we put a bunch of milk in, and then we go over <laughs> to these beautiful, wow. Fake right done. <laughs> Fake right done, yeah. That's how we're really done. Look at that. Look. There's sugar Look, in there. Whoa. whoa. What? Whoa. whoa. That's a lot of sugar for yeah. that little cup. I told her she's she's yeah. so extra with it. Very that. extra. I see it. Я бы хотел бы пить, кому стреба белый плутать. Да, мамочка, представляешь? Это наша мамочка. Right. Vera promised to help me with packages yesterday, guys, and she ditched me. So I had to pack everything by myself. She's on vacation. She said, screw you, Paul. I don't got time. I don't got time for you. <laughs> All right. We're gonna go have breakfast together. I'm uh, bringing you guys back when I'm uh, pulling the orders. It's gonna be not much. I'm just, uh, yeah, I, thought to, I, I warned you guys yesterday, it's gonna be not much for orders. Okay guys, we're back here with uh, the orders. Like I said, not much to speak of um, in the last, it's a little less than 24 hours since I packed, um, but um, got 10 sales total, two on Poshmark, eight on eBay, the eight on eBay equal a little over three hundred dollars the two in poshmark i think were 25 and 20. Uh, it was a bundle though so but i don't think i paid a discount to it. i think it was 25 and 20 for the sales so here we go sold uh miami beach um starbucks mug and a nashville starbucks mug these two sold on poshmark in the bundle these are the ones i kind of paid up for on that one yard sale here in Northport because there was nothing else and she had Starbucks stuff and I wanted to buy something to, to flip and we bought those. So I paid $7 a mug, so for 20 and 25. Not the greatest ROI, but they're going. Out of all those tumblers and mugs, I have one tumbler left to sell and I have two mugs that left to sell. So well, at least all the stuff is selling fast, even though it's not the greatest ROI. So another one of these uh, sexy time corsets. I got this from the Amazon um, pallets. They're selling for $11 each now. I still have a ton of to sell. Some interesting Jumpstart World pet game. This was like um, back in the day when they used to list everything. <laughs> this thing, I had a list of like eight bucks for a while. Nobody was buying it. It was it came from like a big bundle of stuff that I bought. So I had like zero dollars into it. I think I'm selling it for, for four, and I was like, you know what? I just want to go on and take it. Uh, so the Squishmallow, uh, Henry the Turtle, new with tags. I uh, got this at a flea market for five bucks. I also paid up for that, sold for 15. And the greatest ROI there. A little pack sun, uh, really cool, like all over print. This is like Renaissance art kind of shirt, pretty cool. Sold for 20 bucks. I think I got, I got I paid a buck for it. Um, somewhere here in Florida. These are Lily Pulitzer, a new with tag pants. These sold for, I think, $85. Uh, we got some Cole Haan men's loafers. I got these at uh, Peaches to Beaches. I think I paid three bucks for these, they sold for 40. Paid two dollars for Lily Pulitzer, sold for 85. Uh, on Clouds, paid two bucks for these in a yard sale here in uh, I think it was Sarasota. It was the same yard sale as the Toms that uh, you guys saw me pack yesterday. And these uncles, I think, sold for 
80 bucks as well. So pretty good sale here. I just want to show you guys again the AI generated. Oh, oh shoot, I tried to do the I tried to do the what did you just try to do? Slide. That was terrible. <laughs> Fail slide. Fail slide. Hi, what did we sell today? So here here was a before picture, guys. Here's that. Wow. Just David, it's like you went outside and took them. This is the one that promised to help me pack with the orders yesterday. She didn't help at all, guys. She did wow. not help me pack at all. Well, what did we sell? Come on. Nothing. We sold nothing. It was a terrible sales thing. It's because I didn't pack them with all these. Yeah. And then we sold a blackjack dealer shoe for dealing cards. Oh, okay, okay. Someone's serious about their blackjack. Yeah. She didn't help me pull any of this. She didn't help me pack any of this. She said she's on vacation, guys. She don't got time to work, so. What else? Oh, you sold this? Yes. Jumpstart world. Terrible. <laughs> Lily Pulitzer pants. <laughs> Terrible. A squish Milo. Oh, it's an avocado. It's a turtle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's still cute. Tell me this is not look like an avocado though. Very from, nice. From the front, maybe. Yeah, yeah. So this shirt. What's this? Wow. Crasso tot. Is this like Venus? Yeah, this is the Venus. The Triumph of Venus or whatever? Oh, yeah, so I say it was some Renaissance heart. I don't know. No, the Triumph of Venus, she's in a clamshell, my bad. Oh, <gasps> ST sold. I told her. Starbucks mugs. These ones are the old school ones, they're nice. Yeah. Miami. Miami. Now, Miami. Do you know the Miami around this yummy? <laughs> it's Miami. According to Vita. Well, I'm going to go swimming. See, she's leaving me again. You guys, guys. have an amazing day. I'm she's sure you can handle. leaving me again. I'm sure you can handle the six items. Six, it's ten. It's ten okay. items. See what we gotta deal with, guys. See what we gotta deal with. And then she, then she closes the door in my face. Okay. Okay. Alright, all packages have been packed. Clearly, they got packed super quick. <laughs> it doesn't take long. After that, I had a uh, business meeting with a uh, potential advertiser on uh, both channels. And this channel and the other channel. Um, I think the business meeting went pretty well. Happy. Um, we stand, uh, hopefully, There'll be uh, contracts sent out pretty soon and I can start talking to you guys about who I want to work with. <laughs> um, I, I try to be as transparent as possible with you guys, both on this channel and the other channel, and not um, accept every offer that comes my way and just be a promote and, and have every video sponsored by something and something. I only want to work with companies that I like. And um, so this company that probably my first person I work with, company I work with in years. Uh, it's something I've been using now and enjoying. And um, excited to tell you guys more about it. So, so um, the, uh, the meeting went really well. H happy with how it went. Uh, I just uh, put a bunch of uh, stuff on my GoPro onto the computer to start editing a uh, video. I've been edited a main channel video <laughs> since last Sunday so it's been like wow nine ten days so it's gonna feel weird to edit a video again but like a main channel video again so we'll see how that works but uh, before that I do want to go to Detweiler's and get some shopping done because I want to make some scalps for my guests I want to get some shrimp for my guests um, see what fish they have on sale I also need a new pro more produce I don't have any fruit left I got a bunch of stuff I gotta get bought. So I'm gonna go to Detweiler's and knock that out. I also have to find a FedEx for the first time on my way. I have to find a FedEx somewhere there, or at least a FedEx drop off location, because the on cloud shoes are going to an authenticator. So I have to take them to FedEx instead of USPS. Kind of stupid. Well, I understand the, 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 the benefit of authenticator, so I don't wanna say it's stupid. Just for me, the situation is kind of stupid because the person about the shoes lives in Riverview, Florida, which is an hour away from me. <laughs> so if they weren't going to an authenticator, that person would get the shoes legit tomorrow. And like, if somebody was buying shoes, it'd be great for me to, to buy them on Wednesday. No, but when, when they buy them, they bought them Tuesday night and probably will get them by Thursday. But now, because it's going to an authenticator in Munochi, Munochi, New Jersey, through FedEx, they'll probably get them in a week <laughs> instead of getting them in like a day. So, hey, again, I understand the positives of a fact that people don't want to get fake shoes. I understand that, but I'm very confident 
These on clouds are real, so I don't have to worry about that. So anyways, go to FedEx, go to Detweiler's, come back, start working on this video. I'm gonna start working on this video and get it uh, done. Then, what's the plan? I have anything else to do today? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. Which, um, we're just gonna probably then use more, just update as much, uh, as much listings as we possibly can. Uh, and yeah, uh, that, that's gonna be uh, the plan. I'm still focused, again, on getting my store updated before listing uh, new things. Uh, but I don't know if, if I'm desperate or something, if I legit have no sales, <laughs> I might have to start listing new things. <laughs> we'll, we'll see how much I can survive on, on the little sales that I get. Um, but I think we should be good. We are here. Here in a good old stomping ground, like the Weilers. They're tempting me already. In the very front, they have a mango tree for sale for like 30 bucks. I'm in a rental. I can't have a mango tree. I would love to grow a mango tree. I'll do it again. We'll try it when <laughs> we get our own house. But they got some water Malone's for three bucks, guys. Can't beat that. All right, so we just spent $100 at, at that while. It's got a ton of stuff. Unfortunately, uh, they had no scallops, which sucks because I was really craving scallops and I was really hoping to make them for the fam bam that's here, but I guess it won't happen. I did get shrimp, I did get mahi mahi, uh, I, I got tortillas, mangoes, bell peppers, I already have tomatoes and cucumbers at home, so we can make some um, mahi mahi tacos again, we can do that. Then they have like a weird marinated salmon with a mango habanero on it. So I only bought two pieces of that because I'm not sure if my family likes it. They're not really big into spice. And mango habanero I love, but I don't know if my, my fam likes that. So that might just be for myself. Um, besides that, I got a ton of produce. Um, talking about watermelons, grapes, cherries blueberries raspberries blackberries bananas mangoes they had a good deal on corn today got a bunch of corn um so a lot a lot of stuff big portion of my hundred went on food on on seafood um but i, I had to get enough mahi mahi for for me and for the people stay at my house so I think two pounds hopefully would, would suffice with that so yeah uh now we're heading back home um I think by the time I get home, I think they'll be done with their um, warm and spring. springs. We're gonna have lunch together and then we're gonna get uh, going on that video.